You know that Women's Equality Day celebrates ratification of the suffrage amendment, but did you know about the pickets? In 1917, the National Woman's Party became the first group to picket the White House. Thousands of women picketed quietly for two years, holding banners that demanded the vote. At first, the pickets weren't taken seriously, but then the U.S. entered World War I. The NWP stepped up their pickets as soldiers stepped onto the front lines of the war. Banners became more inflammatory, calling President Wilson a hypocrite for fighting for democracy abroad. Angry mobs of sailors attacked the suffragists. Police made no efforts to halt the riots and began to arrest the women picketing instead on trumped-up charges of obstructing traffic. Over 2,000 women picketed the White House, 500 were arrested, and 168 were imprisoned. In jail, women demanded to be treated as political prisoners. Instead, they were met with brutality, forcibly handled by guards, pushed and thrown into cold, unsanitary, rat-infested cells. When Alice Paul was arrested, she went on a hunger strike to protest confinement, and more women followed. The hunger strikes led to force feeding, which was picked up by the media. The women knew that force feeding and other harsh acts provided excellent ammunition against the administration. And eventually, they got their way, as President Wilson endorsed the 19th Amendment, and after passing out of Congress, it was ratified by the final state of Tennessee in 1920. So now you know. Visit SewellBelmont.org to learn more.